Hey, hello and welcome to Asian Tech Forum. Today in this video, I'm going to watch, uh, walk you through one very interesting tool published by Cisco engineers and now it is available for all the customers called Aura Tool. Uh, you know that uh, Cisco DNAC is running proprietary um, operating system uh, with uh, uh, Linux under hood. So as a DNAC admin or a sysadmin, you feel very restricted, uh, I'm sure. Uh, you have experienced the same uh, that you cannot run mini command which you can run on any other uh, Linux based appliance and try to understand what is going with the appliances, how, how the appliances are keeping up in their health and etc. So uh, Cisco has uh, done a fantastic job uh, publishing this tool um, to everyone. Uh, so on my screen you can see I have this page, public facing page open here and let's see what Aura can do for you. So this is a health check tool you can see and it is a command line tool. So that means what do you need? You need DNAC CLI access um, and maglib username and password at, at the same time admin username and password. Uh, what it can do, it can, it, Aura stands for audit and upgrade readiness analyzer and perform variety of health scale and upgrade readiness check for Cisco DNA Center and rest of the fabric network. It can check DNA Center health services at the same time if you have fabric SD access deployed it can check fabric services also. All right the most important thing is this tool is non-intrusive so if you run this tool only uses API call and DVD some show command only read operation no um, uh, intrusion to your services so you can pretty much run it uh, without any risk all right so what happened when you run the aura tool uh, when you run the aura tool it generate a pdf report which is saved in dnac you can scp it to the local desktop and this report is very human readable so you can see how your services are doing no dependency needed everything is packaged as a part of the tool itself all right and these are the variety of check Aura performs and it is pretty much uh, available for all the releases, all the DNAC releases. All right. How to run the tool? Uh, but before we know how to run the tool, where to get the tool, right? So this is the GitHub. Uh, Cisco has posted it in a DevNet, uh, Cisco DevNet. So you can go there and da download it. How to download? There are a couple of options. You can, if you have direct connectivity to internet, you can simply git clone it. If you are using proxy, uh, you uh, associate your proxy with the git clone. And then um, if you have air gap setup, then, then also you can use it. And once you install it, pretty much uh, it's very easy to run. Just say DNA Aura, and that is it. Okay, so let's uh, download the tool and perform the demo. All right, so I'm using proxy in my setup. If you want to see, uh, if you want to know if you are using proxy or no, you can simply go to DNAC uh, system settings, proxy config. You can see I'm using proxy. So that's why I, I should be using the proxy method of it. All right, and this is the GitHub and readme MD. Git clone direct, git clone proxy, and let me clone it on my DNAC. You have to first log into your DNAC. All right. So this is a command line tool that means you will be mostly dealing with the DNAC CLI. see it's cloning once it is cloned what you can do you can simply run but in case uh, you have already installed right and you want it to get a latest version what you can do you can simply do a git pull again and it will pull the latest version but since we didn't have it installed yet so this is the latest version only now let's see what happened when you pull it you can see that dnac aura a folder gets created 
list. Uh, you can enter the uh, folder and look at the things, or you can simply go back to the main, and from here you can run it. So there will be a directory called DNA. You can either change into the directory or run direct from the home directory. Okay, so let's run it from the home directory. That's all you need to do. And you can see it is asking me username, a password, the admin username. So username is admin. That is why you need both the passwords, maglev password and admin password. All right. As you can see, started running. How long it will take to uh, finish? It depends. It depends uh, how uh, your how loaded your DNAC is, uh, how many uh, services you are running. Uh, pretty much, it's less than fifteen minute. Uh, and one more very important caveat is, if you are running a three node cluster, you need to run this tool on all three nodes individually. You cannot assume that you can run it on master or something. Yeah. So that is something uh, to remember. And you can see pretty much this is what you are seeing in my screen, on my screen, that is going to show up uh, in the PDF. So once the tool finished running, it will give you an indication that uh, yes, it is finished and saved it to certain location. You can then simply use a CP to uh, bring it to your local desktop or wherever you want, right? So I'll let, uh, I'll let this tool run, and once it is finished, uh, we will pull back the PDF report and look at it together. You can see it is running all sort of commands uh, and and doing a very detailed health check. All right, let me pause the video for now. All right, so the DNA or a report is completed. I, I paused my video for five minutes actually. Uh, so now you can see, say that the report is completed and it's saved to uh, data temp location. So you can actually bring it back to your local machine using SCP or um, uh, FTP or whatever works for you. Okay, 100% completed. So let's spend a couple of minutes looking at the report together and see what you get out of the this report right let me position it here All right. yes dna center or a result 1.4 uh, so summary of the result so you can get the summary here and uh, let's look at the section, right? So it gives you the uh, hardware model. It gives you the execution time. So I cannot lie here, right? You can see the time, 1552 to 1557, took five minutes, a uh, little more than five minutes. Checks executed, 77, error found three, some warning. And then uh, how the checks are split. So you have infra, health check, assurance related check, upgrade readiness check, SDA, uh, so software defined access check and DNA center scale checks, right? So the scale checks are divided into this uh, multiple sections. Infrastructure check, you can see it try to log in uh, Aura is up to date. So you are not running a old version of Aura. That is also a very good check, right? You get your serial number, member ID, uh, how your disk is doing, uh, if the partition looks good. So looks okay, looks okay. Anything in red, you need to watch out. Okay, how your uh, CPU utilization doing? Then these are the things which you cannot uh, run easily, right? Like your, how your cluster DB is doing, how your NFS mount and I/O throughput looks. All these things, pretty detailed check you can run simply with this executable, right? 
Uh, all right, so this is all about DNA C uh, internal health. What is your IP address, web configured, and all those things you can find it from here. Uh, there are some warning in orange, so cluster host name is not defined, and um, other things may cause issue with search in 2.x. So it is actually warning you that in a uh, next version you may have some problem. So that's that's pretty interesting. Then kernel log error, some log errors. If you are not able to decode it, you can at least run this and work out with your TAC. Okay, certificate validity, other things. Let's see, so this is all about Node. Let's go to the other section where it checks the eyes. So it actually try to log into the eyes and find all the persona and see if the eyes health is okay. So it is also doing the eyes level check. I'm just scrolling through because I want to show you the entire report and different section of it and all these things, cluster health. What is the cluster health? What are the different uh, Kubernetes services looks like? All these things you can run, right? Um, if the, your, your backup is doing good, see, it's for uh, error that you don't know backup history, please take a backup. So all sort of good thing. The uh, center device assurance detail results, so it is now checking assurance. Uh, assurance runs on NDP services, and now it's looking at specifically into assurance and see if you, um, how your devices are doing and other things. Then you can see upgrade uh, readiness check. So RCA file um, and other things. If you are, uh, you have connection to the repo, your repo settings are correct, your certificates are correct. These things may hinder your upgrade. So that's why this is upgrade readiness check. And it also suggests that uh, you may be running into uh, bug. So please check this bug ID. So I, I feel this is great. Again, is ICE compatibility check. It's checking ice level also. And this is the final uh, thing which is very interesting to me is SD access. So if you are running SD access fabric, it does as it, it understand fabric and it does fabric level check. So you can see that my fabric device reachability, some of my devices are not reachable because of the credential change and it actually warned me about that. Please check the credential provided. So it actively go and try to learn, uh, check the inventory, right? All those inventory collection, ICE personas, um, ICE node uses. So it's one stop shop for entire fabric. Uh, how your SGTs and SGACLs are doing, how many SGTs you have, um, all those counts. And finally, the scale limit check that are you within the normal range or you are exceeding the values. If you're exceeding the value, it's maybe the time to like. Um, cluster the node or go for the higher higher end appliances so that you can um, increase your scale so this is fantastic and i i highly recommend this tool uh, to everyone who's dealing with dnac it gives you enormous amount of visibility into your application and i'm sure uh, and it's very simple to run so i'm very sure you'll find, you'll find it useful and thank you for watching my video thank you